Allison, let's start with you. What jumped out at you from these numbers from JP Morgan this morning? Well, the first thing was the big bottom line beat, right? Uh, return on equity or return on tangible common coming in at 17%, very strong. Um, so revenue, I guess, just about in line. So really the provision, I mean, credit just continues to be, a couple years ago, uh, Jamie said never ever better, and it just continues to get better. All right, so Walter, turning to you, as we said, you're a big holder here. Is this what you were looking for from Jamie Dimon and the boys? Yes, yeah, it's, it's a very solid quarter. It's not a, you know, it's not a home run, I would say. It's more more like a double, but that's given the pullback that we've seen in the market and the shares over the past week. I think this is a very solid quarter that should have the stock and the market moving higher. I was really struck by the 6% core loan growth year over year. I think that's a very solid number, maybe a little bit better than expectations. I'm not too worried about the, the slowdown in FIC and IB, given that the third quarter includes the slower, you know, summer months. Uh, it's been a really rough uh, two days for JP Morgan and all the financials. Were you buying on the dip? Yeah, certainly with new money that was coming in uh, from clients, we were we were buyers over the past several days. Um, you know, financials in general have been disappointing this year, so we're hopeful that they can catch a bit uh, on this rebound and as interest rates continue to move up and as the yield curve continues to steepen.